said, I just recorded a whole intro and Daniel goes, Logan, the mic wasn't even on. What type of film guy is this? filmed a whole intro and he goes, sorry, my mic wasn't on. I said, no. That's why you had to film with me. What's going on? It was guys? first take one here as well. Solutions. We've got a GT4 in the back that Ooh. my client booked. Ooh. Wait, wait, hold on. Why, why do you look 20 years older or younger? Oh, I mean. my beard's gone. That's right. This is the new Jason. All right, on the real note, welcome back guys. We uh, we have a GT4 Club Sport that we just finished wrapping in the new Inositec Slate Gray. Uh, this client was going for a really OEM style look, so he chose to do the Inositec film. Though it's a little more difficult to install, it really does look like an OEM paint job when it's all done. We did a lot. We did the Inositec, a little bit of clear bar on the car, as well as ceramic coating and clear flex on it. So without further ado, we'll let Daniel jump into showing you guys, showing you guys, the guys complete the work on the GT4 Club Sport. something make sure you put it back especially if it's borrowed <laughs> Murcielago SV. This is like the holy grail right here in my opinion. Probably one of my top five favorite cars. Um, unfortunately this car came to us for something very simple. Well we thought it was gonna be simple, so did the client, but it turned out to be a lot harder than it was. We've actually went and ordered some authentic SV graphics from Lamborghini. So long story short, as you can see here, hopefully the camera picks it up. The paint has slightly faded because of the factory SV graphic on here. We're gonna try to just install one right over it, but the design process was taken way too long and we, we opted to just order authentic ones from uh, Lamborghini officially. Um, so we're still waiting on those. The car's gonna go back to the client and we'll, we'll bring the car back and have them installed. Um, but like I said, the holy grail of uh, Mercy Lago is right here. One of 187, even though the badge says 350, really, really cool. So something you don't see, and it's a numbered car. Now, new Lamborghinis, you have the one of one of something this specifically says it's number 20 number 50 whatever it may be so let's walk around we'll show you some more things going on what's up guys blue cepheus lamborghini urus really really cool it's cool to see bright colors coming out on the uruses i know when they first were launched there was like five colors in total we saw a couple orange ones but now they're starting to come out with at least brighter colors you got orange green uh this blue one behind us so Blue Cepheus, one of my favorite Lamborghini colors. This car has a really nice interior on it as well. Uh, so subtle white accents. And then you can see on the back seats back here, it's in the middle of being worked on. As you can see, parts are taken off of it. It's getting standard full body uh, clear bra. Of course, the door is locked, ready? We've got even TVs in the back of the seat rest here. So Look at that. This client's gonna opt to uh, haul those kids around in the back seat, which is pretty cool. 
um, you know, dad rides, I guess you could say. We have G63 Inception right here. The two stealth G wagons, really cool. Full body, full body. Um, pista, I feel like we're doing at least a pista a week nowadays. Uh, full body clear bra, including the rear diffuser. I take that back. This car came uh, with a full nose already done on it. Uh, so we just strictly went through and finished everything else off, uh, including the full diffuser. Behind me, we have an M2CS. I'm a real big fan of this car. I actually think like it might be calling my name soon. We'll see, like exactly this car. I like it a lot. I would just paint the calipers black, but just my opinion on it. A couple Teslas, a 992 Turbo S cab, uh, arrived to us from the East Coast with a full body gloss clear bra on it. Uh, the client has opted to do full body stealth. So full removal, we'll do a little correction cleanup and then uh, stealth. And then we're gonna do a bunch of yellow accents actually. So that will be cool to film with the next video. Make sure, Daniel, make sure you film that. What do we got, what do we got? You got Mark Marino cleaning up the uh, Rolls Royce Dawn, uh, which was a full body package as well, plus some ceramic. Behind it over here, we've got a, a C63 that's just completed. Full nose on the C63 plus full ceramic coating and some paint correction. So it's brand new, so it's, it's fresh. Now it's ready to be delivered. So. We will now head outside and actually show you the completed GT4. What do you call that move? That is the uh, stop, drop, and let's party. GT4 Club Sport finished in the uh, Nose Tech Slate Gray. Uh, so as you guys saw previously in the video, the guys were installing some film on it. Uh, a couple things that Daniel was unable to film with the install, but we actually did a little bit of clear bra on the car as well. Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What was that? Uh, so we did a little bit of clear bra on the car as well once the film was done. So we did the front bumper has Expel Ultimate Plus on top of the Anosa Tech, and then we also did the uh, Stealth on the wing. Um, this car still got to go through its final QC stages to be delivered. Um, but overall, the car is completely finished. As you can see, it's uh, the Anosa Tech Slate Gray. Uh, full color change and then it has his uh, kind of his own touch on it with the uh, the, the gumball style door on the uh, the uh, graphic on the door there so rather unique but um nose tech I love it the guys don't really enjoy it kind of it's a little harder to install it just takes a little more time uh, another installer needs to be involved so it's a little more expensive uh, but at least the finished result looks as paint like as possible you don't have the orange peel looks that uh, like a standard vinyl wrap does like Ryan's Macan over there so without further ado we'll let Daniel get some more photos of it What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Protective Film Solutions. It's been a while since I've been on camera, Daniel. You have your so. audio privileges back. <laughs> yeah. You don't. You don't know what I'm talking about, but you will. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I've got a special project that's near and dear to me. Uh, this is a wheel company that um, has uh, partnered with me on the past few projects. Uh, it is Apex Race Parts. I've ran their wheels on multiple cars now. Uh, you guys would know from the Aston Martin and the current uh, Project R8. Um, and uh, we have their car in here from. NorCal. Um, this is a staff car and it got a full livery on it. The car is is nuts. Um, don't let it be fooling you that's a little 3 Series because it packs a big punch and it's got a lot of money put into it and you'll see why. So this is the Apex Race Parts Spec E46 race car. is a uh, what started off as a base model 330ci um, it is not the uh, m3 engine nor does it need to be uh, this thing is super lightweight um, it is running uh, spec series so it has to run a certain size wheel tire engine aftermarket performance um, everything so again don't let this car fool you because it's pretty wild come look inside of it so well the outside besides the wrap uh, looks like a standard body it's got everything done and it's dialed in right 
It's got a full uh, TCs on cage, it's got full air seats, it's got the aim system, it's got the fire suppression. It's nice and clean on the inside like you guys have seen from uh, some of my brother's uh, race car builds in the past. Uh, so we needed that to match on the outside. So this car got a full race livery. Um, we kind of went back and tweaked the original design to make it work uh, specific for the car. And it's using uh, a mix of satin black, satin red, and satin white. And of course the full race spec, uh, all the race series numbers and uh, qualifications needed for it. So uh, I'm excited this car is done. It just got finished getting ceramic coated and it's going up to Laguna Seca to run this weekend in a series. So uh, hopefully we'll see a lot more of this car. Uh, I need to make my way back up to Laguna because it's been about a year. And uh, maybe not race my car, but maybe try to get behind the wheel of this thing. So I'll have to talk to my brother a little bit and nudge him. But, uh, but yeah, if you guys uh, are on the market for, uh, they do a huge following with BMW wheels, but they're expanding uh, rapidly for new Forge series, Porsche, Corvette, Mustang, um, you name it. So love the wheel design, uh, honored to be a part of the project, and my guys absolutely killed it on the wrap, so I'm stoked that they are gonna enjoy the car. It's nice and pretty, keep it pretty, keep it uh, clean side up, right side up. So, uh, but yeah, I really look forward to seeing this car on track and uh, seeing you guys crush the competition. Look how ridiculous this thing is, so. They went out of their way and they put a reverse camera on there. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this thing is epic. Huge appreciation when you can see clean builds like this. This is it's sick. insane.